Good morning, welcome to the 45 minute centering and strengthening class. Because it was 107 degrees in Vallejo yesterday, and it promises to be 103 today, I'm going to do a very static kind of class, but it's going to be very deep. We're going to get a lot of hip around the work and our alignment, and then we're going to get a lot of upper standing upper body work rather than lying down upper body work, and then we'll go down. That's a lot to do in 45 minutes, but hopefully you'll kind of get in there. Also, I want to give you a heads up if for those of you who are live or recording. Um, I am changing the schedule once again, so there'll be an email going out today, and everything will change on all the calendars and the website. I'm changing Thursday's class to 6.30 a.m., and when I have special stretch Saturday, I've got to make that 10. And that's because I've just scheduled over all my cycle classes and my knee goes nuts if I don't get the cycle. So I'm, this is all very selfish, but there it is. All right, so let's take your legs out to this, uh, shoulder width apart and breathe it up three times. Take it up and down, two more up and down. Last time up and down and let's go side to side. Warming up our body and make sure you're putting that foot the toe behind the opposite foot because we are going to use those hips today. We're going to do a little bit of Barilates to start, and that's um, going to complement the stuff we've been doing in our body sculpting class. Four more, and three, and two. Last one. Let's go for the reach. Reach up, and this is an important stretch too. Keep going. Nice. You've got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one step and me. Remember on the eighth one, we take it into a quad stretch. I'm going to add a few stretches today that are going to be particular to the workout form. We're four and three and two. Last one, bring it behind. Woo bring it behind. I already did cycle this morning, so I'm a little like buzzy. And take the foot side by side. Good. And step it back. Walk in. Me. Good. Two. Three, four more, four, three, two, and one. Bring it behind and lift up. Good, there we go. A little more, a little more um, balance. Take it open into a big wide leg. You're going heel, staying inside the frame of the hip. To heel, to heel, to heel. Good, you got four more, four, three, Two, sit back on it on one, arms go out, turn toward the bent leg, make that wrist long, don't flex it back. Come through the center, over to the other side, make the wrist long, good, come diving through, reach, reach, reach. I want you to feel everything uh, open as you go to the back, and then bring it out to your tabletop, your wide leg tabletop, and in, 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 soften your knees, curl yourself up, stacking your vertebrae by vertebrae, drop your shoulder blades, head over tailbone, and let's go side to side. I tried to find the coolest workout class I had. Good, four more, four, three, two, and one. And now this shirt feels heavy. Two, three, four, let's go. Come on, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one to the center soften your knees hip comes up and down lift and down lift and lift and lift good job four more sets four good and three you've got it and two nice job and one both sides now keep those knees bent and circle those hips you want to stay in that lower position dropping the back down as you come around Good, four more in this direction. Three, two, and one, reverse. Good, we're doing eight. Three, four, five, come on, six, just use that bottom, seven, and eight, hold it to the center, reach the hand behind, and lift up. Good, bring the back of the hands together, get those biceps and triceps extended. Good. We're going to drop the arms down, grab one wrist, pull the shoulder down, take the ear to the side. Beautiful. Come back to center and then the other wrist, pull the ear to the side. Nice. And back to center. Let's breathe it up three times. Take it up and down. And come on, two more. I'm going to tilt this down a little bit. Get more space. And down. Last time up 
and down. Now what I'd like you to do is put your feet together, find your center, pull your belly button to spine, push that head over your tailbone, your shoulder hip. You're gonna take your feet out and in, out and in, out and in. Nice job, good, four more, four and three. This is how we find our open position, two and one. We can't imitate anybody else's hip rotation, so we do that to find what our hip rotation is going to be. In this, you're in Pilates stance, so the belly button is the spine. All that stuff that you do in Pilates applies here. <clears throat> What I'd like you to do is slide your foot forward. Now that's a tonde, right? So we're gonna slide it forward, keeping our body as centered as possible. We're gonna do that for 20. And we can add arms, even though we're gonna be working shoulders later, it's kind of great to get the arm benefit out of this. It also creates alignment through your entire body. Good, now one of the things I wanna remind you of is that because you're using one side and not the other, the static side, gets a lot of work, you got 10 more, 10, because nine, <clears throat> eight, good job, seven, because those muscle fibers, six, are looking for oxygen, five, now make sure, I'm gonna come really close with my feet, three, right here, three, so you're coming to the front by leading with your instep, two and one, so this is a side position, right, your inside position, Okay, so using that same foot position, we're going to roll a uh, degage. So lift and lower. Remember that you slide off the floor. You slide off the floor, good. The foot does not correct to the front. Now, one of the things about a turnout is it's actually stronger than a parallel because you have quad recruitment and that helps position you now. One of the things we don't want is falling back, not even a tiny bit, right? Keep going. Good job, 10 more. 10, and then you're gonna hold it up there. Nine, and you're gonna try to keep yourself lifted. Eight, nice. Seven, perfect. Six, good job. Five, and four. Three more, and two. Now hold it up there on one, so you gotta really steady yourself. Find your center, push your head to the ceiling. Little lifts for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, now you can have a support, five, four, three, but I'm trying to get us into alignment, and one. Now circle, one, two, three, 10 in one direction, then the other, five, six, you stay inside the frame of hips, eight, nine, try not to fall back, 10 the other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Slide it back in, take a squat if you need it. Anytime you feel that ratchet pain over there on that hip, you take a squat and create a number four for a pigeon and you can get a little bit of relief. All right, soft bend, we take it out. Soft bend, that means we don't put our foot under our knee. Extend and down, take it out. Soft bend, extend and two, out. Soft bend, extend and three, take it out. Soft bend. Getting balanced for is one of the most important things we can do for ourselves as we age five, along with getting our bones and strong and our flexibility there. Come on, seven and eight. You've got it. Going all the way to 20. Nine, soft bend, extend. This is when the other hip is saying, what the heck? 10, 10 more. Wait till we go to the side. <laughs> and you also really have what the heck? 10 more. Nice. You've got it. And nine, up, bend, extend, and eight, good, extend, and seven, you've got it, perfect, and six, perfect, good job. Last five, you're gonna really nail this, and four, bend, extend, and three, keeping yourself very lifted, and two, Bend, extend, and you're gonna hold the bend on one. Hold the bend. Little list. Put in nine, eight, seven, six, five. You can have a support for three. You can have a bar, a chair, a wall, two, and one. You just don't want your shoulder going up, extend, and then you don't want your shoulder going up or down. You want it to be parallel. Two, three, 
four. Make sure you stay in the turn. Five, six, woohoo. Seven, pull that belly in to keep yourself. Eight, nice and centered. Nine and 10, hold the bend and circle. One, two, three, four. Now I closed in on this one. Five, I put my hands on my hips because I'm circling six, seven. Instead of tilting to each side with the arm, I closed myself to a, a, a compact position. Take it the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Extend it, slide it back to that one position. Come on down into your squat. Good, everybody squat here. All right, curl yourself up. We're gonna go to what I call one o'clock or 11 o'clock. This is our first diagonal. So you're basically following your second toe. So take it out for Tande. Sliding along the floor. Four, three, four, Five, you're gonna feel a lot in that hip. Six, I promise, keep going. Seven, so anytime you need to stop and rotate it or sit down in it, nine, 10 more, come back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, last five, and four, three more, two more, Last one, ready for the degage. So we're pushing right out with that second toe. Take a lift and lower. Remember to slide along the floor, coming and going. Three, four, good job. Five, perfect. Six, you got it. Seven, see I left my bar in the other room. Eight, because I know that we can do this. Nine without support. Ten more, but again, feel free to have a support. Ten. Nine, and so if I get off balance, I have to work to get on balance. Seven, which is great work. Six, last five, make sure you point really hard out. Four, but don't hyperextend the knee. Three, and two, and little lifts for 10. One, two, three, here's a question. Four, a lot of people ask me, can I bend my opposite leg? Five, six, if that's to help support your back. Seven, eight, but what we wanna do, nine, 10 and we circle one. What we wanna do is keep our pelvis even. So if you bend that leg, you have to come down a little bit on the other side. Eight, nine, 10, reverse it. One, two, I'm trying to think of every, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <clears throat> nine, and 10. Lower it down and bring it back in. Remember the soft knee, we're gonna do it here. Take it out, soft knee, extend, slide it in. <clears throat> Soft knee, extend. Again, your foot does not come under, right? Under your knee. It goes, stays out in front of your knee and bend. Take it out, soft knee, extend, and five. Take it out, soft knee, extend, and four. And you can see, take it out. Soft knee, it's harder to stay off that side. And the six, take it out. Soft knee, extend, and seven. <clears throat> take it out, soft knee, extend, and eight. Take it out, soft knee, extend, and nine, take it out, soft knee, extend, 10 more, take it out, soft knee, extend, and 10, keep lifting yourself to the ceiling. That's how we keep balance. <clears throat> we lift, we don't ground. If you ground, keep going out, soft knee, then you're telling your body to drop down. So the point is to float that to the ceiling, last five, out, <clears throat> soft knee, extend, and five, take it out, <clears throat> Extend and four, take it out, soft knee, extend and three, take it out, soft knee, extend and two, take it out, soft knee, and hold it right here. All right, little list, 10, nine. Now this is gonna be a lot of balance, eight. So if you need to touch down every time, seven like this, six, five, that's okay. Four, three, two, and one. Extend, soft bend, extend, soft bend. Got it. Four, good, five, good job, six. If you come out, seven, make sure you go back into the one position, eight. Don't just pick yourself up, nine and 10. Hold the bend and circle, two, because a lot of people, three, four, uh, five, parallel immediately, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Reverse, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10, stick it out, bring it back in, let's take our squat. Okay, we're gonna go to the back. 
the diagonal back. So the diagonal back is following your little toe. I call it uh, four o'clock or seven o'clock, uh, this being um, 12 o'clock, okay? Or six o'clock, I guess. So take it back to the tonde, follow that little toe. Make sure you stay in your angle. That's really important too. Three, good. Four, because if we do things always in parallel, five, six, we are trying to seven. We're trying to imagine that every time we're about to fall, we're absolutely forward. Uh, 10, 10 more. Nine, I think I skipped one. Eight, good job. Seven, now what's important with the back reach is six. You wanna open the front of your hip, five. That's why I put the arm really deliberately to the ceiling. Four, three, good. Two, you can use both. And one, here comes our degage. Now you don't wanna to reach too high in this because you'll put all the weight on the front knee. Take it lift and lower. Two, and the <clears throat> process on this one, three, is gonna be different from the first two, four. Five, you've got it. Six, perfect. Seven, <clears throat> eight, good job. Nine, good. 10 more, 10 to go. 10, now you're lifting forward, not over to the side, right? Nine, good job. <clears throat> eight, everything's forward. Seven, <clears throat> six, good job. Five, four, you've got three more. <sighs> Two, and we're gonna hold it up here on one little lift. Again, you can touch down. One, two, three, four. I'm having a tendency to rotate, so I have to keep correcting myself. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Circle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and reverse. One, two, three, so you keep that low, four, and if you're tilting forward, that's okay, five, as long as you're not hinging, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, slide it back in. Now, instead of a soft bend, we're actually gonna take our heel to our glute, so take it out, bend, extend, and one. Take it out, bend, extend, and two. Out, bend, extend, and three. Out, bend, extend, four. Out, bend, extend, five. Out, bend, extend, six. Out, bend, extend, seven. Out, bend, extend, eight. Out, bend, extend, nine. Out, you have 10 more. 10, you got it, good. Nine, good. And eight, I'm sure a lot of you are not wobbling as much as I am. Seven, now one of the things that's really important is that you get those shoulder blades down and you come back. Six, a lot of people do this and then keep the tension here. So keep dropping, five, good, keep going. Four, bend, extend, drop those shoulders. Three, good, and two, bend, extend, and one, bend, and hold it here, little list to the side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and extend. One, there's no circle back here. Two, sorry, three, I know you like them. Four, but I want you to get that center. Five, it's really hard. I'm having trouble with the two. Six, you're probably not. Seven, good. Eight, good job. Nine, and 10, slide it in. Parallel your feet and take your squat. So we're gonna interrupt this with some upper body. So grab your shoulder weights. We're gonna be doing uh, accordion. That's your rear deltoids. We're going to be doing militaries. So that's for the top of our deltoids. And who knows what else is coming up, but that's what we're starting with. Oh, and there'll be lifted bicep curls. I'm not sure in this round, but at some point, the lifted bicep curls, sorry, I have to have my gloves on and I didn't put them on first. So maybe you wanna stretch your hips while I'm doing this and grab your weights. Make sure that you squat when you pick your weights up, unless they're sitting on a table. And um, all right, we're gonna start with accordion. So accordion requires a staggered position because we want <clears throat> our body to be centered. So come on the back toe, so that keeps you more centered. You don't have to be hard on that toe, just lift the heel up a little bit. So accordion is interesting because it gets over your deltoids with our arms lifted, so we've activated our, the tops of our deltoids as well as the front and the sides. Take it in and out. 
Inhale and exhale. Three, good. Four, keep going. Five, good. Six, seven, got it. Eight, <clears throat> nine, 10, 20 more. One, good job. So keep the wrists long too. So one of the things I'm gonna show you right here, three, is you can keep your hand open, four, so you're not over gripping, five, right? Six, seven, eight, good job. Nine, good. 20, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, feeling it all through the shoulders, seven, even in the bicep, because you're in that bicep position, so that's activated, five, four, three, two, let's push together on one, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, is your neck hurting? Then put your head back, 11, 10, because if you have it forward, you're gonna feel a pain in it. Uh, let's say seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower those weights, switch to the other straddle, you're on your toe, put it at your ears, here come our military stand up, and one, two, three of these, three, you've got it, four, keep going, let's get better in the camera, five, good, six, you've got it, seven, good job, eight, nice, nine, ten more, good, ten, I wish my fan could go faster, nine, I'm going to put this up, eight, it's very hot in here, seven, good, six, last five, Alejo's very hot, four, Three, we actually have more, 10 more, two. Let's do 10 more, 10, nine, eight, good job, seven, good, six, last five, four more, three more, and two. Let's pulse it downward, 20, 19. So you're pushing 18 on the tops of those shoulders, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower them down. Nice job, switch feet. All right, back to the accordion now. We're gonna come in for a three count and out for one. One, two, three, only 21. One, two, three, two. Now one of the things, one, two, three, three, that you get very tired very early on this one, four. So one of the things you can do is get rid of the weights all together, five. Once you hit that fatigue, six, good. We call it exhaustion. Seven, because the one, two, three, eight, because the muscle is already activated. Nine, and it's already fatigued, so just moving it. 10 more, one, two, three, 10. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, eight. And now this is very easy to let your wrist go back. One, two, three, seven, make sure it's long. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, one. Lower them down, switch sides. All right, back to the military. We're going to do uh, eyes, mouth, eyes, and up. So let's do it. Eyes, mouth, eyes, one. Eyes, mouth, eyes, two. Eyes, mouth, eyes, three. Keep going. Eyes, mouth, eyes, four. Eyes, mouth, eyes, five, six. Nice. Seven. Keep going. You feeling that? Eight. Everybody but Sandra, because she's got those great nine shoulders. I'm losing my clothes. Ten. Good. Ten. Nice job. Nine. Eight, you've got it again. You can let go of the weights if you're feeling it. Seven, anybody on the PO? Six, keep going. Five, good, up, four, and three, and two, and one, and lower it down. Now you're gonna take a squat, put those weights down, and we're going to do the other side of our leg workout. Just down. Okay. Let's go, let's put ourselves back in that number one position. Let's do it just like we did before. Stand with your feet together parallel. Get your head over your tailbone, belly button to the spine. Take it out and in. Two, good job. Three, we're going for 10. Try not to bounce your body. Four, you want to just be moving from the hips. So if the upper body is bouncing, 
you're not getting the idea of five. So let's locate it. Six, seven, eight. Good job. Nine and ten. You're in your number one position. You're lifted through the legs and through the entire body. You're zipped up through the front. We're doing tondes to the front for 40, 40, 20. And make sure you lead with the inside of your foot. One. Good job. Two. Nice. Three. You've got it. Four. I'm just going to tilt this down a little bit more. Five. You can see my foot. Six. Nice. Seven. Good job. Eight. Nice. Nine. Good. Ten more. I tried to wear stripes so you can see the direction of the leg. Ten. But they're on the side. Nine. I could do this way. Eight. Good. Seven. Six. Or I can do it this way where you can see it pass. Five. Nice. So you're pushing with the instep. Four. And three. Nice. Two. And one. Let's take it to the degage. Take it lift and lower. Two. You've got it. Three. Nice job. Four. Good. Five. Perfect. Six. Make sure that foot points. Seven. Why are we doing that? Because we eight. Because we want to move from the transverse abdominal. Nine. If you have it flexed, you're getting out of the glute. Ten. Don't worry, the glute's getting work. Ten. Good. Nine. Good job. Eight. Perfect. Seven. Six. There's nothing more centering and strengthening than this workout. Four. Three. Two. Hold it up here on one little lips. Ten. Keep it turned. Nine. Mine tried to correct. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Stay out of your back leg. Three. Pull through the center. And one. Take it around. One. Two. Stay out of your back leg. Come on. Lift through the center. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Reverse. One. And two. And three. Keep the leg long. Four. If you can. Five. You get more flexibility if you bend it. Six. But then you also lose that long hip. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten, and slide it back again. So it's up to you. And again, the standing leg can be soft, but try to keep your pelvis parallel. Let's go. Take it up, soft bend, extend, and one. Take it up, soft bend, extend, and two. Take it up, soft bend, extend, and three. So let me catch myself. And four, watch falling back on your leg. Ten and five. You just want to go right to the center. You feel your body shift and six, but try to keep it centered, even if it moves in the center. Seven. Good. And eight. Take it up. Bend, extend, and nine. We've got ten more after this one. Let's go. Ten. Good. Nine. Got it. Eight. Good job. Seven, perfect. I feel your lift. I feel you lifted. Six, five. You can see I have no lights on here and the blinds are close. Four, good. I was trying to take the dog out last night. I was waiting for it to cool off. Three, and at 10 o'clock it was 97. Two, <laughs> and one. Hold it in that bend. Little lift. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one, extend, soft bend. Two, good job. Three, now anytime you need to take a squat, four, that's fine, and just come back to the six, um, seven, and just come back to the work, eight and nine, because that other hip is saying, what's going on? 10, let's circle, one, two, keep that point, three, keep it turned up. That's what happens, people start to float to the center, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, reverse, one, Two, three, four, five, six, point at seven, eight, nine, and ten. Extend it and bring it back in and take your spot. Good. We are going to follow our second toe out to the side. Same routine. Get your body lifted, drop your shoulder blades. I like to reestablish you every time. Take it out and one. You exhale back, right? This is Pilates. So we go back to the neutral spine. Four, five. So that also helps six keep you in that center. Seven. So you want to be conscious about that. Eight. I'm talking a lot. Nine. I know. Ten. Ten more. Ten. You've got it. Nine. Perfect. 
eight. Good job. So everything goes out straight. Seven, you don't kick it out. You don't bend it on the way out. Five, four, right? Three, slide it out, not push it out. Two, and one. So that's, you know, it's kind of late in the game to talk about that, but you probably weren't doing that next time you won't. All right, okay, guys, you lift and lower. Two, three, you've got it. Four, five, six, try to lift through the middle. Don't fall over to the other side. Seven, you may shift eight, but that's okay. Nine, you're going to get the middle. Ten, eventually. Ten, so why? Nine, make sure you're pointing that leg. You want to feel eight. You want to feel that push all the way down. Seven, six, good job. Five, four, you got it. Three, and two, and take it up here on one little lift. Ten, nine, eight. So one of the things you could do to compensate for leaning over is to push your arm over to the other side a little bit, not moving your body. Ten, and then circle. Or you can push this arm up. So that helps you pull over to the side. Circle, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever works for you, seven, eight, nine, ten, reverse, one. Again, you can touch down if you need to, two, you want to do anything you can to keep working on that balance. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Bring it in. Take a squat if you need it. We're going to soft knee. Degage, soft knee, extend, and one. Degage, soft knee, extend, and two. Now remember when you take the degage, take it out straight. Soft bend, extend, bring it in straight. Three, degage, let's do it straight. Soft bend, now straight. And four, dégagé. See, I kicked it out a little bit. Soft bend and five, straight. Soft bend, extend and six. Out, soft bend, extend and seven. Slide it out, soft bend, extend and eight. Slide it out, soft bend, extend and nine. That's why you do the slide first. Extend and 10, slide it. Bend, extend, 10 descending, take it out, soft bend, extend, and nine, take it out, soft bend, extend, and eight, take it out, soft bend, extend, this is so good for me to do at home, take it out because in soft bend, extend, and six, I would be walking around the room a lot, so this I'm getting more concentrated workout, five, take it out, soft bend, extend, and four, take it out, soft bend, extend, and three, slide it up, soft bend, extend, and two, and we're taking it out and holding the bend, little lifts. 10, and nine, eight, point that foot, seven, six, make sure your inner thigh is facing front, five, four, three, two, and one, extend and bend, two, you've got it. Again, what do you need to do to stay centered? Three, I know, I have a pole right here in the middle, five, I used to tell four if people to face the bar, three, if they were learn, leaning too much, two and one. So that's also an option to, to face your support. Circle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, reverse it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Push it out and bring it in and let's take our spot. Our final bar lattice action is to the back, to the to the seven o'clock, four o'clock, eight o'clock, four o'clock. So remember, you're following your little toe. Let's get ourselves back into establishment, sweep it up. Let's go tombe, back. Now it's much easier to go straight back here to that angle. You don't want to kick because you're moving backwards, but it's important that you bring your arms to the front. Good. Six, and nice. Seven, good job. Eight, you've got it. Nine, ten to go. Ten, nice. Nine, good job. Eight, I'm thirsty. Seven, five, four, you've got it. Three, good job. Two, and one. Let's stay on Lift to the front, and one. Lift to the front, and two. Good. Three. You don't want to tilt. Four, five, make sure it's to the front, not to the side. Six, seven, and you're coming back with that inner, inner foot. Uh, eight, good job. Nine, good. Ten more. 
10, make sure it's pointed back there, nine, because sometimes when we go back eight, for some reason we always flex seven, so make sure it's pointed, six, so you're really getting that transverse thumb roll, five, <clears throat> four, good job, three, point it out, two, hold it up here on one, little lifts, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one circle, one, come on, two, it's a little, might be hitting the carpet, three, because you don't have a lot of distance, four, five, it's okay, six, or the four, seven, eight, nine, and 10, reverse, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, bring it in, and the final piece is going to be the uh, foot to the glute. So we take it out, bend it to the glute, and back. Take it out, bend, extend. That's a hamstring uh, kickback, right? Two, take it out. Make sure you keep it to the side, three. So again, we want to correct on this four because we've done it to the front so many times. Five, take it out, back. Good, six, and keep the foot pointed through the whole bend. Seven, take it out, good, and eight, take it out, good, and nine, take it out. We only have 10 more, wow, 10 in our little um, concentrations, nine, and then we're done with this whole lower body. Eight, and we'll go back to the top. Nice, seven, nice, six, this is real centering and strengthening. Five, nice. Four, even though you're cursing my name. Three, and two, and one. Hold it back there, lift to the side. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, pointed toe, three, two, and one. Extend, and one. Make sure, now what's happening here is your foot might be riding to the front. So make sure you keep in that turn. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Take it out, lower it down, slide it in, parallel your feet, and sit down into that squat. Good. I'd like you to roll back and forth on your feet. Come to the toes, come to the heels. Come to the toes, come to the heels. Come to the toes, come to the heels. Massage it, right? Last four, four, and three, and two, and one. And we're gonna do some rotations. Take the foot off, rotate around, three and four, and then the other two, three, and four. And then wiggle your toes, slide it back in. Other one, one, and two, and three, and four. Reverse, one, two, and three, and four. And wiggle those toes. Bring it down, soften your knees, hips come up and down. Good, we're gonna get into that lower back, two. So four more. Four, and three, and two, and let's go to our circle, around. Come on, drop that lower back into it. Keep those knees soft. Four, five, six, seven, and eight, reverse. So the two, if you're coming to the stretch on Saturday, it's gonna be a 10. You'll get a new email about that, but it will be a towel stretch. Nate, bring yourselves up. Let's get our weights and finish the upper body. So squat to get them. We're gonna do the lifted bicep curls. So stagger again, you're on your toe in the back. Take the weights to the open arm, curl it in and one, in and two, three. We take them all the way out because the work is to pick up four. Good, five, good job. Six, keep them shoulder height. Seven, make sure your head is in position. Eight, or your neck's gonna hurt. Nine, 10, one, good job. Two, nice. Three, perfect. Four, five, nice. Six, don't forget to inhale and exhale. Seven, eight, use your power. Nine and 20, you got it. Let's go one, last 10. We will have a pause too. Three, good job. Four, now what's cool about this, about the lifted ones, five, you are getting a lot of tricep too. Six, so you can double for your money. Seven, 
eight, good, nine, here comes our pulse, 20, 19, 18, 17. Again, watch that wrist, keep it long, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower the weights down, switch to the other foot, bring the weights back, come to 90 degrees, lift and one, lift and two, lift and three. So you got so much going on here, four. So you get your five tops of your deltoids, your bicep and your tricep, six, and we get a little residual on the front, eight, nine, 10, good, one, good job, two, perfect, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, again, you can get rid of the weights, nine, 10, if you're feeling too much and just keep going without them, that's 10, one, good, long wrist, two, loose hands, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, let's pulse it, 20, 19, 18, 17, screen through it, 16, 15, you can be pirate, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower down, switch sides. Now, what we're gonna do here is just get a little bit of the front because it wasn't as dress, addressed as much as the other parts of the shoulder and we really like to have balanced shoulders. So we're gonna lift and lower to the front, alternating. Good, lift and lower. Now make sure you pause at the top, otherwise you're just using your uh, joint. So we wanna make sure we use our muscles. I like them at the side of our bodies. Again, it's like that barbell, if you're lifting a barbell. Good, lift and pause. Lift and pause. Nice, I'm not counting because we're alternating, so everything is um, even. <laughs> Good. I know it's time for us to start stretching, but I want to just get a little more upper body in. Nice, feels really good to be working out. I know for the rest of the day, I'm not gonna be able to do too much activity. Good, nice, good. Fortunately, my gym was very, or your condition this morning. Good, we're just gonna do about four more and then we're gonna switch. Four and lift, three and lift, two and lift, last one and lift. Lower your weights, switch sides. We're doing them together just for 20. One, well, it doesn't matter, right? Because we're doing them together too. Three. Now, I don't want your arms to get too far out either. Four. Stay in your shoulder position. Five. Because if you go out here, six, this stretches, right? Seven. Our super mobile eight. Our super mobile shoulders, nine. And you don't want it to give you any trouble. Ten. So you stay within your range. Ten. Nine. Good. Eight. Good job. Seven. So if you have small shoulders like me, maybe the weights are in front. Six. Good job. Five and four, three more, and two, and we're gonna do a flutter, and one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower down. But hi, Brewster, let's bring those weights to our rack by squatting, and let's get into our stretch. We're gonna do our upper body stretch standing, and some of our lower body stretch standing, um, and then we'll get down. We might go over by a few minutes. I hope you don't mind. All right, so it's really important that we do the upper body stretch, the shoulders up here, because this is going to give us a better position. So take one leg back. That leg, same shoulder, small rotations back for four, three and four, and then forward, one and two and three and four. Now to the ear, one, and two, and make that a circle so you know how big the circle must be. Four, one, good, and two, and three, and four. Now, you're gonna put your elbow into it and get your rhomboid in there, a little bit of your scapula, and four, and that's gonna help that rear deltoid that we worked so well at the beginning, two, and three, good, and four. You're gonna drop that wrist. 
the other hand is going to come over and pull that wrist down, and you're going to take your ear to the opposite side of that shoulder. Good. Come back to the center, put your hand in a stop sign, and then rotate it upside down to get that bicep stretch. And release it down. We're going to go to the other side, put the foot back. It really gives us a lot more extension, small rolls, two and three and four forward, one and two and three and four to the ear, one and two and three and four and reverse, one and two and this one, one some more and four. Now the elbow, one, get it in there. You can feel the pack, two, three and four, reverse, elbow, one and two, crack, crack, three, and four, pull it down, drop your ear to the opposite shoulder. Center, and then you're going to put your hand in the stop sign and then reverse it. Nice. Release it down, we're going into a big sumo squat right here. So I want you to come down into the sumo squat so as low as you can come. Push with your elbows into your inner thighs. And you're going to work outside into that outside groin. Good. Then you're going to turn to one side and take your leg all the way back. Pushing through the heel. We did this at the beginning of our other class. Now I want you to put your foot down and slide that leg back a little, or your knee down, and slide that leg back a little bit and open the front of the hip. Then you're going to push up to a, a rack kneeling and put your foot into a hamstring stretch. Good, get your head over your tailbone. Nice. And bring yourself forward again, tuck your toe under, and come back into your sumo squat, and push back with your uh, elbows again. We're going to the other side, into our lunge, very familiar territory right here. Then lower the foot flat and slide that Leg back to open up the front of the hip. Nice. Then lift yourself into that nice strong kneel if you can. You know, some of us can't rest on our knees and hold it right there. Good. Now from here, we're going to slide this leg under and bring this leg across and rotate into your spinal twist. You can inhale to prepare, exhale, bring it in, and we're going to go to the other side. Good. Head and shoulders track. You are a spiral staircase. And nice J-O-B. Come back to the center. We take it to tabletop. Bottom and chin up. Curl up like a cat. Bottom and chin up. Curl up like a cat. Come to neutral, widen your thighs and circle. Two, three, four, crack, five, six, eyes down, seven, not, not looking at your uh, legs, but head down. Two, three, you want to play neutral, neck, six and seven and eight. Pop it into your downward facing dog. and walk it in. Curl yourself up. We are at washing machine. That's why you all stay. Thank you. All right, let's do it. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the center. Breathe up and down. Two more up and down. And last time, thank you everybody for coming to